did, Mr. 300C. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm not that. I'm not that diesel. I'm not. I'm just not. Just joking. That's old man muscle for y'all. Old man muscle. All right, let's go, man. We got some things to do. Guess what we having for lunch today? I want some McDonald's today, man. I want a double quarter pounder. I want large fries. I want a large Sprite. No ice. And I don't want a pickle on my burger. Nah, I don't want it. <laughs> anyway. And I need to get some gas. I got to go to Costco. whole bunch of stuff I got to do. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's get out of here. Anyway, just wanted to chat with everybody. All this stuff going on with Dodge, man. We already had five car reveals so far. We got the Shakedown. We got the Super B. We got the Swanger. <laughs> now we got the King Daytona. What else am I missing? I was just thinking, you know, I like doing these projections and forecastings and guessing. You know, I'm not no expert, but I'll try my best to fill you guys in what I know, what I feel. Oh, obviously we had the Chrysler 300 SRT, which we can't call it that. It's got to call it a 6.4 liter Hemi, 485 horsepower. Cool. Let's do some, some revealings. Just doing some thinking. You know, we don't know what's going to happen for 2024 besides the EV concept. Charger, SRT, Daytona. Banshee! We know Hemis are done 2023. So the only thing left to, to discuss is what's going to be in the in the next generation, right? So most likely we're going to have the inline six twin turbo. I just read that Jeep Wagoneer in their inline six twin turbo, they have 510 horsepower. So once Dodge is finally ready to tell us, hey, we're gonna put this in our next generation Charger, maybe Challenger, rumors that Challenger might not even come back, but let's just pretend that they are. We're talking about a 500 plus twin turbo inline six vehicle. I love the power that's associated with it, which is good, but what's it gonna sound like? And I've heard other inline six vehicles and I'm not a fan, I'm sorry, like, Sure, you can make them aggressive, but I don't like them at all. And I'm not, I'm not excited about it. And I wouldn't get a charger if it had inline six and it sounded like the way how it sounds now. Obviously, back in the day, Dodge did have a Hemi six. What if they bring that back, or maybe just a branding name? And with the inline six, maybe you call it like the Hemi 6 trim or something just to have the Hemi name so everybody can be happy and then what if they put a tweak on it and it sounds like a V8 or it sounds really good compared to what's out there in the marketplace that would pique my interest you know if it had a nice deep rumble didn't sound too raspy or ricey you know but had a nice little similar tone to a V8 I'd consider that I'd, I'd rock that and then they just throw in some hybrid technology in there, which they probably may do. And there you go, we got all wheel drive, twin turbo, inline six, heavy six. <laughs> and I think everybody would be happy. I think it's a win-win. So let's cross our fingers and hope that we get something good in, the, in these next coming year or two. And this is a, this is a stretch by any means. Salantis is just come through and shut everything down, man. This French, this French company, they don't like V8s, man. They don't like those Hemi boys. And they're just gonna do what they do. They're doing what works for them in their market in in the European segment. So they're trying to bring that over to the U.S. segment. So yeah, that's my quick video, quick thoughts, and I am out. Let me know what you guys think, Mr. Under C.